Welcome back to the semifinals of Superstars of Dance. In case you haven't noticed, we're dishing out every flavor of dance you can possibly imagine. Representing the United States of America, a lad named Robert Moraine is going to serve up some popping moves. You won't believe it. My name is Robert Moraine. I've been street dancing for five and a half years. Street dancing consists of a, a variety of different dances. What I do is called popping. There's big popping communities in Japan, China, Taiwan, France, but um, definitely LA holds it down. I actually don't choreograph any routines when I do my solos or my performances. Popping is kind of a freestyle type of dance and I try to keep it that way. Most poppers aren't formally trained, but there are rules to popping. We work just as hard as any other dancer would that spends all day in a studio or that got to step it up for the second round. The b-boys from the Groove Lose have been showing me some different ways to go to the floor or get back up and I'm just kind of taking that and using it and incorporating it and hopefully it'll bring something different. So while we wait for Robert to come over here, Marguerite, how do you possibly coach that? Like, how can you do that? Uh, I stand and I watch with awe. I mean, not only is he such a unique style, his rehearsal process is unique. Yesterday we were in the dance studio and I looked over and he grabbed his foot <laughs> and he wrapped it around his head and twisted about and said, oh yeah, I just created a new dance move. So. He is such an innovative creator that, for me, I just stand back and go, wow. He, yeah, he's pretty amazing. And he's a really nice guy. He's a nice guy. OK, I have to ask you this. Can you teach me how to do like the head thing? Basically, focus on something, okay. anything, okay. and then look at the edge of your frame of what you see. Okay. Now make that not move. Can I do it? Yeah. He is a nice guy. <laughs> All right, well, let's check in with Michael. Enough about me. I'm not being scored. Let's check out your scores. OK, well, let's see how your judges felt about this. Argentina. Yes, he's very natural. He's you. He's fantastic. You know, all that is going on and on. I give you an eight, OK? India. 
you know, what the show has really done is expose the world to all the different styles of dance, which I love. And, you know, for me, it's really exposed me to a new style of dance. And, you know, you're starting to win me over a little bit compared to the first performance. So I, I really love the freedom of movement that you have. So, you know, I'm going to give you a no, a nine. Australia. Robert, you're the mutating pretzel. Nine. South Africa. You show how much technique's applied as much as in any other form of dance, including classical dance. So that was very, very good and unique. A nine from me. Ireland. I felt that your performance in the quarterfinal was better for me, right? And based on that, I give you an eight, okay? Russia. Robert. I think I know exactly what you dance about. Sometimes if I consume too many Russian beverages uh, at night, in the morning I feel exactly to dance like that. Thank you very much. Nine. And finally, China. Your nine. More great scores from the judges. Let's take it up to the scoreboard now and have a look and see how Robert did. 61 for the United States. 61 for the United States. Can I see the master scoreboard, please? And if we add those scores together, 297. Okay. And that puts uh, Australia and the United States into a tie for first place. When we come back,